welcome. So I've done all the cleanup in my gardening area from Hurricane Ian and I thought I would show you what it looks like. So the only plants that survived were my eggplants, which is what you're looking at. And I kept one or I'm sorry, two bell peppers. I have some Luckily, I had just started these, but um, three broccoli that are growing and doing okay. Um, one Danish ball head cabbage and black rock lettuce. One mustard plant and some collard greens. Uh, old timey blue. My tomatoes, surprisingly, they survived. So hopefully they'll continue to grow. My two towers, this one was the pepper tower. If you see, uh, I trimmed all of them back or the ones that didn't die kept two so hopefully they will replenish themselves here I had started some turnips but I don't think they're going to make it so I'm going to start some more soon and we have my okra plants and my, my herb garden which is consists of um, basil oregano and parsley. The oregano looks like it took a hit. Hopefully it'll come back. So I'm going to start some more seedlings and I'll bring you along. Let's get started. Forgot to mention um, my cabinet that was blown over. Uh, it's now backed up and the greenhouse uh, mini greenhouse that was blown away. Um, I brought it inside so I can make probably make better use of it here. Okay, here we have um, a plug tray and it has one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's 72 cells. And since everything was demolished or torn up I think it afforded me an opportunity to restart and do a lot more planning than what um, I was going to do so we're gonna start out with the spinach this is a this is Bloomdale spinach and this one I just ordered off of Amazon so let me get my steak I'm going to press dimples into the cells and then afterwards drop the seeds in. The soil has already been pre-moistened. Okay, that's taken care of. I'm dropping two seeds to each cell.
this variety, I think I'm going to do two rows. Another variety of spinach called the Virole, and this was also ordered off of Amazon. This one I'm only going to do one row. Again, two seeds per cell. Next, I'm going to do try my hand at some onions. So, this is a variety called Red Creole, and I got it from Urban Farmer. First time growing onions from seeds, so hopefully everything will go well. Actually, let's put it down this way. dimension I'm in zone 10 so the seeds that I'm using for the onions are short day seeds in zone 10 we have to grow short day onions and this is another variety of onion called Cipollini yellow and again it was I uh, got or I got it from the urban farmer rows of these as well.
some more onions. This is a variety called Merlin. And again, from the Urban, urban Farmer. I think I'll do just one row of these. Next, pak choy, variety called tet soy, and from Kitazawa seeds. variety of romaine lettuce. Um, it's blue rock pelleted and I got it from Johnny Seeds. doing Chinese cabbage and the variety is Rubicon again from Johnny's Another variety of lettuce, uh, butterhead lettuce called the Milagro, and again from Johnny Seeds. Lettuce seeds, um, not so much on 
concerned about dropping more than two seeds in. of you that have followed me or uh, have seen me do seedlings before you know that I put perlite on top of them and for me it seems to help them stay moist and grow quicker The other seeds I think I'm going to put um, in this green leaf, um, green stock rather, planter and we'll see how it goes from there. I want to thank you for watching me as I started out these seedlings out on their growth journey. I'm kind of excited about it because like I said it gives me a chance to grow more stuff than what I would have had had not the storm came so even though it was a bit of a sad thing that that happened it was also something that can be used as a, a new birth so that's how I'm viewing it and the most important thing is that my family and every, everything else was safe so take the good with the bad and keep on moving so I want to thank you for watching um, if you haven't subscribed, by all means, please consider doing so. If you have subscribed, don't forget to hit the like button. Um, it helps my channel grow tremendously, and I appreciate that. Until next time, remember, even in small space, small spaces such as mine, you can grow food to sustain yourself and your family. Until next time, stay strong, stay blessed, and grow, grow, grow.